Welcome to Latin for Non-Romans, or as I like to call it, Latin for Barbarians. Today we're looking at Latin nouns of the second declension. At first, learning Latin can often seem intimidating, especially vocabulary. That's why we tend to classify nouns into five major groups. We call these groups declensions. The second declension is concerned primarily with masculine and neuter nouns. Nouns ending in us, er, and ir are masculine. Nouns ending in um are neuter. The earlier forms of the nominative and accusative were os and om. As a result, you will notice that often in inscriptions, terminal s's and m's are sometimes omitted. Another curiosity of Latin is that many names of countries and towns and us are feminine, for example, Aegyptus and Cyprus. Let's take a look at the second declension. Here we have the noun equus, equi, masculine for horse, starting with the nominative singular, equus, genitive equi, dative equo, accusative equum, ablative equo. Nominative plural equi, genitive plural equorum, dative plural equis, accusative plural equos, ablative plural equis. Now let's take a look at a neuter noun. Bellum belli, meaning war. Nominative singular bellum, genitive singular belli, dative singular bello, accusative singular bellum. Notice it looks exactly like the nominative. Ablative singular bello, nominative plural bella, genitive plural bellorum, dative plural bellis, accusative plural bella, ablative plural bellis. Now let's try our hand at some Latin vocabulary. Deus, dei, masculine, god. Locus, loci, masculine, place, think locale. Kerkus, kerki, circle or circus. Oculus, oculi, I. Liber, libri, masculine, book. Magister, magistri, masculine, master or teacher. Stylus, styli, stylus. Bellum, belly, neuter, war. Kylum, kylie, neuter, sky. Conchilium, conchilii, neuter, plan. Donum, doni, neuter, gift. Odium, odi, neuter, hatred. Templum, templi, neuter, temple. And here are some modern cognates that you can pair them up with. Now let's try our hand at some site translation. Let's put what we know into practice. Let's take a look at the subject nominative. The man is good. We are est bonus. See the R at the end indicating the nominative. The possessive, the horse of the man, equus viri. The indirect object, he gives a sword to the man, viro gladium dat. The direct object, the teacher reads a book, magister librum legit. And the ablative, he writes with a stylus, stilo scribit. Up for a real challenge? Then try this passage on the Trojan horse. Trojani Graecis bellum pugnant, bellum decam anis manet, Trojani de bellum fatigant, Graecus Odysseus concilium cogitat, equum lignum faciunt, donum Trojanis, et epsos intra occultant, sacerdos lacoan eos non capere monet. Subito duo serpentes apparent, et eumque eos filios procul trahunt, quando Trojania capit, Graecus manent. The Trojans are fighting a war with the Greeks. The war is lasting ten years. The Trojans are tired of war. The Greek Odysseus thinks of a plan. They build a wooden horse as a gift for the Trojans and hide inside. The Trojan priest Lacoan warned them not to accept the gift. Suddenly, two serpents appeared and dragged him and his sons away. When the Trojans accepted the gift, 
the Greeks remained. And thank you all for joining me today, and hope to see you next time on Latin for Non-Romans. <laughs>